So what's got you awake tonight? Well, when I last did this a month ago, I think it goes without saying that I was in a lot different place. I was still living in Vancouver, Washington. I was still unemployed and things were looking rather bleak. But, as serendipity sometimes works, I ended up getting a job offer for a digital media station that's making a lot of waves with a lot of people around the country. Now, I have to admit, when they called me and said I actually had a job again, I was completely ecstatic about it. And then they said I had to come out to this little town called Afreda, to which my next question was, I uh, did, who, who said who to the what now? And so following a two-day binge loading of a moving van, not one, but two trailers for my car, and near as makes no difference, 300 miles later, here I am in central Washington in the middle of nowhere. Now, the biggest cities in this part of the world are Wenatchee, which is about 50 miles west of me, and Spokane, which is 120 miles east of me. The next closest town of any size is 17 miles away. So when I say I'm in the middle of nowhere, I ain't just whistling Dixie! Now, relocating to a new place always causes no end of anxiety and trepidation. And to be fair, I spent 25 years in Portland, so I left a lot of things back there when I packed up and moved out. And when I came out here after I took the job, I really wasn't sure I was going to be able to find a place to live either. See, the economics in this part of the world, as I discovered, are such that you either fall into one of two categories. Either you make so little money that you immediately qualify for government assistance and thereby get low-income housing for super cheap, or you make so much money that you can easily afford a house or the luxury rentals that those of us in the middle really can't afford. As it turned out, I got really, really lucky because I was able to A, find a place that I could afford, and B, it's less than a mile from my office, so I don't even have to drive half the time. I can just walk to wherever I need to go. It also comes with amenities like a dishwasher and a washing machine, which I hadn't had access to in like four years, but that's just sauce for the goose, really. But as nice as it is to be working in my field still as a journalist and to have a new place to hang my hat on, the reason why I'm doing this is to fulfill a promise that I made when I was still trying to figure out how I was going to make this all work. You see, being on unemployment for most of the year means that you're really not making a whole lot of money. And packing up all your worldly possessions and moving them to a different part of the world costs a lot of money. And as truly mortified as I was about doing so, I ended up starting a GoFundMe page in the hope that people would see that I was just a guy who was trying to get back on his feet and just needed a little bit of help to make that happen. You could say that that's a sad indictment of the times we live in when the popular rhetoric is that people who are struggling through the Great Recession, not really even through fault of their own, are just considered lazy, unmotivated, or flat-out greedy. But I ended up getting quite a bit of help. Some of it was from people who I knew would pitch in, and from some I didn't expect to pitch in at all. The bottom line, though, is that it's because of that generosity that I'm here. I'm back to work, doing what I like to do. I'm learning new skills that are really going to help my career going forward. My work already is being appreciated, and it seems like I'm really getting along well with everybody. And I'm in a place now that, despite not having a whole lot of flash and bang, it's quiet, it's peaceful, and I think it's really going to help me on a lot of other fronts the longer I'm here. And so because Thanksgiving is on Thursday, I figured I had no better reason to make sure I got this done in time so I could say thank you. Adam, Hung, Candace, Matthew, Katie, and whoever made the truly anonymous donation of 15 bucks. From the bottom of my heart. Thanks, guys. You have no idea how much I appreciate what you did for me. Let's have a great Thanksgiving, everybody. Get some sleep. And sweet dreams when you get there.